The first thing I noticed about the Samsung Galaxy S3 is the big, beautiful screen. I mean, for someone as used to the iPhone as I am, this thing is huge. Unfortunately for me, that means more surface area to break. Now I've repaired enough iPhones to know that the front panel assembly repair takes a lot of man hours, glue, random screws that take special drivers. Well, believe it or not, not all phones are equal in this department. So strap in, cause today we're gonna do our first Android repair video. I'm gonna show you how to replace the front panel assembly in the Samsung Galaxy S3. Hey, it's Gwendolyn with iFixit and I'll be walking you through this repair today, but this is just an overview, so be sure to check out our step-by-step -step guide as we go. For this repair, you're going to need a Phillips double zero screwdriver, a plastic opening tool, tweezers, and a spudger. I've already got all the necessary tools I need in my ProTec toolkit. It always comes in handy. I'm also going to be using my magnetic mat. It is super helpful in keeping all your screws organized during repairs like these. So let's jump right in. Brace yourself for a smooth repair. This first step is so simple, you might not even need to use a tool. If you do use a tool, use the plastic opening tool. Place your opening tool or your fingernail there and work your way left. You'll have to twist the tool a little bit to release the clips, but once the clips are released, you can lift the rear case from the phone. Now we can get the battery out. This can also be done without any tools or you can use the plastic opening tool if you feel like it's not seeing enough action for this repair. Either way, just take the battery out. Next, we need to get the SIM card and the micro SD out. To do this, you just need to push them in a little further until you hear a click or feel a click, and it should just come right out a little further so you can pick it up with your fingernails. Removing the plastic midframe is next. It's held in place with only 10 Phillips screws. Easy enough. Now we just need to pull that off and get started on the headphone jack and speaker assembly. First, we need to disconnect the rear facing camera before we remove the whole piece. Once you've done that, the assembly should just come up easily. I suggest using an opening tool on the right side to pry it up before you lift it out of the phone. We have a few cables to disconnect before we move on to the motherboard. Okay, so first, let's start with the front facing camera connector. We're going to use our plastic opening tool to just gently pry the cable from the motherboard. And now we're gonna do the same for the digitizer cable, the display data cable, and the Wi-Fi antenna. The motherboard is secured on the front panel with one Phillips screw. We're going to remove that and then carefully pull the motherboard from the phone. Now we just have to get the front facing camera bracket out, which is also held in place with only one screw. We will unscrew that and get the bracket out with our tweezers. If you're replacing this with a brand new front panel assembly, be aware you may need to transfer some parts, including the vibrator, antenna, front camera, earpiece sensor, microphone gasket, and a few buttons. To start, you're going to peel the antenna cable from the channel, but make sure not to disconnect the cable from the board at the top. Now you can run your spudger under the ribbon cable to continue peeling it from the front panel assembly. Now we can move on to buttons. To start, we're gonna use our plastic opening tool to remove the volume button from the panel assembly. We still have the ribbon cable to remove, so you need to do some more loosening on the edge of the device with your plastic opening tool. Now you can just pull it out with your fingers. Use a spudger to carefully peel the antenna board off the front panel assembly and just pull it right out.
With that board out, we just need to remove the power button and the vibrator, and to do that, we're just going to push them out with our spudger. And now you're ready for your new front panel assembly. You can find all the parts and tools you need for this and many more repairs at ifixit.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all the latest teardowns and repairs. And follow us on Twitter at ifixit and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash ifixit.